All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. I actually just recorded an entire video, the same video, and I realized that I forgot to hit record, so that's uh, that's great. But in this video, guys, as you can see from the title, I managed to beat a top 100 player. Um, now, I'm in no way saying that I'm better than this player. I'm obviously not. I'm far from being better than this player, but he had a bad game, and I had a very good game, and those two put together... I won the game, and if you guys are wondering how I ended up playing this guy, I did a best of five um, against him. I was in the semi-finals of a 1v1 tournament uh, that was hosted by Trade League, which if you guys remember, were my sponsor a couple of videos back. Um, so they do tournaments like once every sort of week or two or three. And they do mostly 1v1 tournaments, but they're going to start doing 2v2s, etc. So, I actually came across Dada in the semi-finals of the tournament. Um, I ended up losing in this round because it was a best of five. I lost every game apart from this game, which I'm about to show you now, which we're about to analyze to see what I did right and how I managed to win the game. If you guys want me to make another video, I saved the replays, I think, from the other games as well. So, I could analyze what I did wrong rather than what I did right. So, if you guys want, to, um, if you guys want me to go over those, it'll probably be more beneficial, actually. But I just want to show you guys this game because I was really proud of it because we managed to beat obviously a top 100 player which is awesome um dada's like 86th in by the time at the time of playing this game he's at like the 86th best player in the world in 1v1s he's like his, his rank is 86 and he's top 100 i think in ones twos and threes and solid standards um i don't know if obviously he is now obviously the rankings change every day um but you know at the time of playing this he was and he is he is an incredible player and he smashed me the other he smashed me for the first game this game i beat him and then the other games were really close but he managed to win them so we're gonna jump into the game right now guys and we're gonna just see what happened obviously i've just done this analysis um and then i realized i didn't hit record which sucks uh but i guess now i know a bit more what's gonna happen so i can analyze it a bit better so uh yeah this game was interesting first place got parallax second place got five keys and third place got two keys i came third and um Heads, I got two keys. Uh, I really wanted to beat Dada, not exactly for the tournament, but I wanted to beat him just because he's a top 100 player, and I wanted to be able to say I could I beat a top 100 player, which I managed to do, which is awesome. So, um, I'm sorry I've rewinded this a couple of times. I was just speaking, so I wanted to uh, make sure I caught this part. Um, he was going to keep possession here. I believe he was going to knock it back to his side of the field. So, I demoed him to give me possession, and I take a shot near post. Um, I, I, was that near post, actually? I, I get a bounce sort of going. The bounce is going a bit too fast for me, so I had no choice really but to go for a power shot. And yeah, I go just on the left post. He definitely expected me to go on the sort of right side of the goal into the open space, which that's what he was positioning his car for. Um, and I can't say whether I did that intentionally or not, but I I don't know. I'm pretty sure I just sort of shot that ball on net with power and hope for the best. And it went in. It caught him off guard. Um, he could have scored that, but he just put it wide. I had most of the goal covered, but had he put it like far post, I probably wouldn't have reached that. So I get the ball on top of my car here, try to just hit it to the uh, furthest post away from him, try to get it sort of like a bo bottom corner finish, and we backflip to uh, keep possession there. I don't go back for the middle boost, I instead take his corner boost, which allows me to keep applying pressure. He rushes the ball though, which I didn't expect, and here I was going to take the middle boost and then go back to my corner boost and take that, which would have give gave him possession, but he would have had low boost, but instead I decide to, uh, as you guys can see, I instead decide to just quickly do a backflip here. Uh, to stop his attack completely, stop his momentum. I know he's on little boost, so he's kind of forced to go back. He'd be stupid to challenge that with little boost, which gives me an attack, which doesn't pay off, but it was still good to make that move anyway. He pulls off a very good challenge, and he gets possession. He should have scored that, obviously, if I see that from his perspective. Um, I think he was just rushing a bit, and that is just unfortunate. Yeah, he should have scored that. He knows he should have scored that, uh, but I got a bit lucky there. He hit the post, which gives me uh, a chance for a counter. And I wanted to shoot that, and yeah, I uh, probably shouldn't have shot that. He got back pretty quick. I went up for a risky shot there, um, which I realized very quickly that I was going to miss. So I instead just hit it to the side, which um, is very is a lot better than letting it go past me. Because that could have gave him a counter. In that position, guys, I'm kind of fucked. If you look from his position here, not only has he got like a really nice bounce going on, which gives him an op opportunity to take a power shot or anything, but... I'm just, I'm just fucked here. Yeah, there's not much I could have done. I probably could have saved that. Looking back on it, had I gone a bit faster, I probably could have got to that. But, you know, in the time, it's, I can say that uh, with the benefit of hindsight. But in the time, it was very difficult to make that save. I had no idea where he was going to go. I had to react fast. I'm still looking at Dada, which I shouldn't be doing. I should look at myself. Um, at this point, I'm sitting in goal. I have no idea how much boost I have, but I'm pretty sure I don't have too much. Make a good save there. Oh, no, we did have boost. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of boost. I wish they showed you boost in replays, but they don't, unfortunately. Um, Dada keeps possession here. I wanted to keep pressure, but I instead took the middle boost so he couldn't take anything. He did this move quite a lot. In the other games we played, 
he would jump up with the ball like this and flick it, um, which is something that I want to try and start doing. He did it. He, he was very effective with it. Uh, this time it wasn't too great. I made a very good save though, to be honest. I got up really fast for that. And we hit him on the counter because we got a good bounce off the wall and we get a 2-1 lead. So at this point, I'm really happy. I'm on the uh, Discord to Keebs while I was playing this game. And I was saying to him, like, bro, like, I'm actually winning. Like, I'm actually beating this guy. and Because uh, this guy, like, absolutely f destroyed Keebs. And he destroyed me in the first game as well. So it felt awesome to actually, like, win against him. And I'm sure he got a bit complacent. And there's all that, obviously, to take into factor. But at the end of the day, I managed to take a game against a, one v uh, a top 100 1v1 player. Which is just, in like, it's pretty crazy. It's quite an I find it quite an achievement. Um... I don't know how you guys will think about that, but I'm, I'm very happy about it. Uh, this here, I sort of get a good bounce from the wall, and I just decide to hit it up. From his perspective, I want to have a look at a few things from his perspective so we can see exactly uh, what was going through his mind maybe when this was happening. Obviously, he's not in the best position. He sort of just tried to read that, and he's very unfortunate not to hit that. If I look at that one more time... He just missed that. That's really unfortunate for him. Quite lucky for me, but we did go get a nice goal against him. We're now 3-1 up, which is uh, awesome. I was so hyped, guys. Honestly, I was so happy. Even if I lost the series, just to say that I could pull a game against him, um, that's what I wanted to do. So, uh, considering I'm, like, diamond free, I think, and he's, like, grand champion. So, you know, it is what it is. But he scores the goal here. I was so triggered from this. Because that was just a stupid, stupid challenge. We don't need to watch it again. You guys saw what happened. <laughs> and yeah, I just completely missed the ball. Um, and that sucks because you don't want to be giving away goals like that to um, a player of this guy's caliber. So uh, middle kickoff again. Straight middle kickoff. He manages to win it. He gets possession. Um, really bad shot from him, actually. I don't know what he was doing that for. Um, probably just a mistake, which gave me possession. And I just tried to sort of fake him out a bit. Um, and it didn't really work at all. Get this boost. He was waiting for me to do anything else apart from that. So I had to just hit that with power. I wanted to keep that in my possession. But he, the way he positioned his car. I had no choice but to just smash it away. This is I'm scared of. And as you guys see he tries it again. Look at that from his perspective. He just jumps up with the ball. And instead of just dragging it. He flicks it. Which um, I, w I sort of learned to expect from him. He did it quite a lot in his other games as well. So um, I was sort of ready for that. Uh, he got up really. He got up a lot faster than me. One of my biggest weaknesses is fast aerials. I'm not really good at them in a lot of uh, situations. Sometimes I can get up really fast, but I'm not consistent with them. So, yeah, he beat me to that aerial, which in turn gave him possession. I just beat him to that. I could have backed off to goal, and maybe like a couple of weeks ago or a couple of months ago, I would have done that. But I was really changing up my playstyle against this guy. I wanted to just sort of. Give him as little opportunities as possible to have an attack on my goal. So, I, like, I'll take his boost here. Although, that was a bad decision, taking his boost here. Uh, this was stupid. Because he had already gone past. He had already gone past. And I'd sort of just took his boost, which was stupid. But, um, yeah. And I thought he was going to miss that. But he made a really good adjustment, which ended up leading to a goal for him. So, it's 1 minute 30 left. Free all. At this point, I'm sort of triggered. But I'm just like, come on. I'm, I'm trying to keep composure. To try and beat this guy. We win the kickoff, which is awesome. And we get middle boost. He definitely could have took middle boost there, but... Um, he didn't. He went for the corner boost for some reason. And he takes a shot there. Dodge a clear from me. But, I mean, we still managed to... Uh, it turns out okay. He goes back. And at this point, I'm just trying to get a, a bounce going. So, I hit it to one side and hit it on the other side. Should have scored that. Should have took a good power shot. Um, but I completely messed it up. And it was a really bad shot, actually. He tried to pop that over him and ended up just hitting it behind me. Which was pretty dumb. Which gives him possession. He's got no bounce there. So, that wasn't really threatening. All I had to do was sort of just stay in front of the ball and there was not really much he could have done so I knew I was going to get possession from this I, I had to hit that off that bounce with that dodge because I don't know if I dodged actually but I had to hit that off that bounce otherwise he was going to definitely hit that and probably score so although I wasn't on target it wasn't my intention I just had to get it past him he gets a good flick there almost top corner I go up for it thinking it might be in um but turns out I didn't even need to go for it so at this point I've wasted a lot of boost um because, you know, I didn't want to take any chances. It's like 30 seconds left. I was so, like, sort of panicky. I just really wanted to win. He keeps good control. But um, I managed to get counter. I'm picking up all these little small boost pads. If you guys look, um, this is something that I've been doing a lot recently. Um, it's not the best example. But I'm obviously on little boost. I can't remember if I took this corner boost. Uh, no, he took that corner boost. So I'm on very low boost here. Um, he makes a dodgy hit there. I managed to hit it off the wall here. He makes a really bad hit here. I take this small uh, boost pad. I missed that one, obviously, because I had to get the ball. Hit the ball with a side flip so that I could get this other boost pad. I needed every little bit of boost I could get so I could get a good counter-attack against him. So I get this one. Missed that one as I have to. 
side flip into this one instead of hitting it straight on so that I could get this middle boost pad here. Uh, and I did do that intentionally because I do that a lot in 1v1s now. I also pick up this one as well to give me more boost to get to the middle boost. So I took almost every boost pad on the way to the uh, middle of the pitch. On my, my Obviously, my ultimate goal is to get that middle boost and have a proper attack. Uh, but to get there quicker and to get him on the counter a lot better, I pick up these small boosts as much as I can. I get this boost here. Um, he's in a bad position now because I've got four boosts. We hit him with a fake. Keep in mind, guys, last 20 seconds here. So we hit him with a fake here, which doesn't throw him off. But um, it makes him double think, double like sort of think what I'm going to do. So if you guys look at this from his perspective, uh, because it doesn't look like that fake did anything, but that fake just made him unaware of what I was going to do and gave me a chance to just put an easy shot past him. Because for all he knew, he knew, he knows that I'm like trying to fake him, etc. So I could have easily tried to fake that again or something. He didn't know what I was going to do. That fake made him, it just made him confused basically. So I managed to get a goal past him. I wanted to score that to confirm it. To confirm the win, because obviously 10 seconds left, anything could still happen. Uh, at this point, I was worried he had an attack going, but luckily, thank God, he completely messed it up. Obviously, I feel like, he, yeah, obviously he could have done a lot better here. He probably could have maybe tried to get a bounce, uh, but I was shadowing really close to the ball, so I don't think he wanted to risk that. He just wanted to hit it past me. That he should have scored, let's be honest. I don't know how much boost he had. Um, yeah, he should have done better there. Um, but to be fair, looking back on it, I made a very good save. I think that might have been going in. If I have a look at this from a fly perspective, I think this might have been going in. I just want to... For some reason, that's not working. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, I thought we broke the game then. That would have sucked. Okay. I think that was going in, yeah. We pulled off a very good save. Um, and we uh, managed to... The last five seconds, you know, that's vital. That's what we need. If I could just get back to my camera, please. Right, let's go back here. Player view. Okay. So, um, we'll go back to 100% speed. Just watch the rest of the game. I pulled off a very good save there. And I was terrified here. I thought with a Batmobile, he could easily turn around and shoot that. But it hits the floor. And that's the end of the game, guys. We beat him 4-3. Um, if you guys want to see the other games that I played against him, or at least one of the other games where he beat me, so I, I could instead analyse what I did wrong, then let me know. But I feel like this was good to do, just because it shows that you can beat players that are a lot better than you if you're completely on your game and they're a tiny bit off. Even if they're on their game, you know, 1v1s, um, anything can happen. Anything can happen in 1v1s. So... As this proves, I just beat a top 100 player. So, I mean, I'm buzzing with that. I can now see I beat a top 100 player. I believe he's at 86 or something. Um, but, yeah, he's very good. He's a lot better than me. I'm not saying I'm better than him. But we managed to take a game away from him, which is... um. It's good confidence. It gives me confidence that I can that I'm getting better at one v ones, etc. And you know, it is what it is. So I'm quite proud of this. It's quite an achievement for me. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely awesome. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see me analyze a game that I lost against him, uh, where we can look at what I did wrong, etc., then let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. Give me some feedback on how I analyzed the video, whether I did good or bad. I feel like I did quite a good job this time um, because it was a very interesting game to uh, analyze. But thank you guys for watching. Love you all. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.